All right. I think we are live. I would absolutely love if someone could make sure that you can hear me. <laughs> so um, if you don't mind, please, um, when when uh, someone jumps on, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up or actually a um, comment that uh, you guys can hear me okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. So um, tonight I am super excited because I am going to be showing how you can take a daytime look and turn it into a date time look. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as you are popping on, we would love to have you just um, tag your consultant in the comment section below. And if you are a customer happening to see this video live, then definitely tag your consultant. Uh, we love to know that you are here and we just so appreciate you, um, you know, being a part. And uh, my goal for this um, video is to really um, give you some very simple and easy uh, steps to uh, really transition from daytime into daytime and give you some tips on a soft and smoky eye look. And I'm only going to use a few colors. I'm going to show you the tools that I'm going to use and also um, the colors. And don't worry, I will go ahead and make sure that those are posted in the comments below if you'd like to know the names of the colors. So that way you can uh, reach out to your Mary Kay Beauty Consultant and talk to her about getting some of those if you'd like. So um, my name is Margaret Lampkin, and I'm super excited to be showing you this new um, look that I know that you can recreate in some easy and very simple steps. So I'm going to guide you to your most gorgeous self at the end of this video. My goal is for you to feel empowered and confident that you can walk away and you can create this look on your own. So let's get started. First, what we're going to do is um, show you, or what I'm going to do is show you the uh, colors that we're going to use. So the first one is called Shadow, and it's a beautiful color that we carry. It's um, a very, very dark gray, beautiful color. We're going to use that to create the smoky look. And the next color is going to be candlelight. So candlelight is the next color and this does have a little shimmer to it. Absolutely love this color. So that's the second one. Um, this next one is called blossom. So that's another beautiful color. I'll show you where I'm going to put this in just a moment. And then the last color I chose for this look is called sand castle. So this is kind of more of a, um, skin tone look and it's going to help us with a little bit of blending action that we're going to do um, in just a little bit. So let's talk about the tools. So the tools that I'm going to use um, first is going to be our eye crease brush. And this is essential, especially when you're doing um, a soft and smoky eye look is um, you want to use the wedged brush and this is going to help you because it um, it helps you to have more control over where the color goes. So definitely we're going to be using the eye crease brush. And then um, we're also going to be using a cream color brush. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with that in just a moment. Um, little tip that I will show you uh, with the cream brush. And then we also have the um, all over shadow and then the eye blending brush. So these are the tools that I'm going to use to create this smoky eye look. And I will be using this um, deep ivory concealer as well. So that is um, something that I will show you kind of how to uh, transition from the, the daytime eye look. This is what I've had on all day long today. And so I'm going to show you how I'm going to smoke it out and kind of change it up for a date night. So if you are just tuning in, make sure that you go ahead and comment below, just kind of letting us know that you're here, say hello, and uh, let us know where you're tuning in from, tag your consultant. If you're a customer of ours, um, make sure to tag tag your consultant or customers, um, uh, tag your consultant and consultants tag your customers. Okay, so we just wanna make sure everybody gets a chance to um, watch this video. And um, again, my name is Margaret Lampkin and I am gonna guide you to your most gorgeous self in just a few minutes here, show you how to get a nice soft and smoky look. So I do wanna give you just a little tip here and let you know that um, you don't have to use 
dark colors in order to create a smoky eye look. In fact, you can do it with um, browns, you can do it with greens, you could do it with purples, um, you can do it with any color really that um, has a nice contrast. But um, tonight I am going to show you how to create the soft and smoky look with um, the main color being shadow. So the actual eyeshadow color is called shadow in our line. So let's go ahead and jump in and get started. So I'm going to start with um, my eye crease brush, okay, and give it just a little bit of color. So it just our colors are very pigmented. Our chroma, chroma fusion eye shadows are very pigmented, so it doesn't take much. So what I'm going to do is just kind of go in the corner of the eye like that and go up just a hair kind of creating another V or a crease like that. So this is going to be the most dominant color in the look here. And we are going to be blending. So don't worry. We're going to be blending, blending, blending. But all right. So right there, we got a little pop, right? So we are going to go ahead and do that on the other eye. So you can literally see where I'm applying it with the eye crease brush really helps to just have more control over where that color is going. So there we go. The key with eyeshadows is to blend, blend, blend <laughs> and tap. As you can see, I'm kind of tapping the color first and then I'm kind of blending it out, but we're going to be blending with another color in just a moment. So that was first. So that is the, um, the shadow color first. There we go. And next up, what we're going to do here is take that and just soften it up. And I'm going to show you with the other color here what I'm going to do. So um, the sand castle. Oh, I know what I should do first. Let's do this and then we'll blend that out. Don't worry. It's going to blend out just fine. <laughs> so we're going to do that little um, tap there with the concealer. And then I'm going to use my cream brush and just do that right there, just right on the center of the eye. Okay. So what this does is it kind of just gives you a little um, uh, palette change, if you will, in order to put some other color on top. So if you're going from daytime to nighttime, um, you can actually apply the concealer in the center of the eye, and then we're going to put another color on top. So that is just to kind of matte it out. And it also gives the eye color a little more staying um, power as well. So now I am going to use the candlelight and I'm going to apply that right on top of that color or of the concealer rather. So there we go. Just a little dab right on top. So I love the candlelight because it does have a little shimmer, like I mentioned, which is nice. We love a little shimmer. Okay. So there's that. Now, um, what I'm going to use next is the color blossom. And for this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right underneath the brow bone here like that on both sides. So since I've had most of this look on all day, I do have my brows on <laughs> already. There we go. And then I'm also going to do a little blossom right in the center, kind of where, where the eyes pop. Or this gives that opportunity for the eyes to pop right in the center. Okay. So literally, I've done the shadow in the crease, the color shadow in the crease. And then I also um, then went over uh, the concealer on the center of my eye with candlelight. Blossom went underneath the brow and in the center of the eye. And then this is where the magic happens and all the blending is going to occur with the eye blending brush. Okay. So this is, like I said, it's more of a um, uh, kind of a skin tone color. And what you're going to do is just blend all of this out. So what that's going to do is just kind of pull the colors together and soften them up and kind of blend them all into one um, kind of a gradient, if you will, you know, just kind of blends the colors up. So that way there's no like start or finish of the color. They kind of just all blend in together. So you can see how that really changed up the look um, to go from 
the smoky. So here is where an opportunity would be. If you want to do more of a smoky look, you would just go back over with your shadow and just apply a little bit more, which I'm going to do just a tiny bit more down here in the crease, not go up any higher on the lid, but just on the outside like that. And the other thing I think I'm going to do is kind of bring it in a little bit over more onto the lid like that. Yeah, that looks better. With makeup, it's always fun because you can create different looks. Like every time it might just look a little bit different, but um, there's no right or wrong, right? We can do whatever we want, use whatever colors we want. There's just different techniques and tips that, um, that are nice to know to have in your toolkit <laughs> to be able to um, apply. So there we go. So there's that. All right. So the sandcastle, as you can see, really helps to blend that all together. There you go. And just kind of blending that out a little bit more. Blend away. Can't blend too much, especially when it comes to shadows. All right. Okay. So there is that little kind of smoky look. All right. So now what I'm going to show you is what I have done so far. I already actually did the eyeliner um, underneath the, the lid, or I'm sorry, um, on the lid. I use the black Mary Kay black eyeliner and I love it because it is smudge resistant. So um, it does have the staying power and it's very soft too. So it's easy to apply. And then I have just a little bit of liner, um, the liquid liner on the top lid. And that's just because I had it on earlier today and it was easy to um, just have a little bit of that color already on. So I'm not adding any more liner. I feel like when you do a smoky eye look, you kind of, you know, you have already enough um, drama kind of happening in the eyes. So um, you don't really need a whole lot of liner, but I will share with you for the lashes, just um, when it's date night and you are going out and you want to have those Vavoom lashes, um, first and foremost, make sure that you always use um, a lash primer. And the lash primer is going to um, actually help uh, the mascara to coat better on the lashes. So it'll make it more um, dramatic, if you will, and it will also give it more staying power. And I highly recommend for the top lashes, the Lash Intensity Mascara, okay? So this is like your go-to, go-out, lash intense, <laughs> intensify your lashes um, mascara. So it coats your lashes and then you comb, but it is a good idea to have the primer on first. So I am actually just going over my lashes because obviously I had mascara on already. So I'm just kind of doing a second coat and combing these out that way. And then what I recommend is to have ultimate mascara, which is this one. This is our ultimate mascara. I'm not sure we have <laughs> fan faves of our ultimate mascara. Um, and just put a little bit of that on the bottom lashes. The reason for that is because um, it is smudge resistant. So I prefer that over the um, lash intensity on the bottom lashes. Okay, so ultimate mascara on the bottom. And then um, what I'm gonna do is uh, just give that a moment to dry and talk about what lip color I happen to have on right now. So this is actually a brand new lipstick that I am wearing. And this is from our um, new Supreme Hydrating Lipstick line. And if you are a fan favorite, a fan fave of our True Dimensions lipsticks, um, I want you to know that they got a makeover themselves and they are now transitioned, upgraded uh, to what we call the Supreme Hydrating Lipsticks. Colors are amazing. I went through and I was like, okay, for date night, for Valentine's, we have to have red lips, right? So um, when I look through the colors that we have, the color that popped out as the as a dramatic red like I have on, um, which I have to say, I don't know in, in the um, 
it, you know, in the video, if it really looks more on the coral side or if it looks more red, but this is actually called fuchsia dreams. That's the name of the color. And to me, it looks like a deep red. And when I look in the, the video, it kind of looks more like orangey, but I am here to tell you if it doesn't look that way in person, it really does. <laughs> yeah. So I'm glad that it's, it looks that way, but I mean, hydration, these feel absolutely amazing on your lips. So absolutely love it. And fuchsia dream is the color for, um, the lips that I put on. So this is brand new lipstick. So this is pretty much a, you know, a date night look for sure, kind of taking it up a notch. Um, but that was pretty simple and easy. I hope um, <laughs> that you could tell. I will go over um, and make sure that you have all of the, the shadows and um, the names of the shadows and everything in there. Uh, in the comments, and I'll make sure that those get posted as well. Uh, but I will just briefly um, show you again what I did, because again, it's pretty simple. You guys know how I operate, so it's got to be quick, fast, and easy. I'm all about getting cute quick. <laughs> so um, I used the color shadow in the uh, the crease, and that was part of the, the drama color. Okay, so remember to use the eye crease brush to apply that. And then um, I did that little trick of the concealer right on the lid to help kind of mat out the center of the eye lid. And then I applied candlelight on top, did a little blossom underneath the brow and on the inner corners of the eye. And what was, oh, sandcastle. That was the secret. The sandcastle color. Where is it? I wanted to show you the brush again. Sandcastle and this brush really is what kind of blends out all of these colors. So everything kind of fades in together. Okay. So that is that. And that was pretty simple and easy. So I don't know. I think going out, maybe have your hair up. I don't know. Pick a fun outfit. Um, just feel free to go dramatic if you want to, because we can do whatever we want and just go out and feel like a million bucks. So I hope that you enjoyed um, the content and please go ahead and comment down below if you, um, if there's something that you guys want to learn or um, something that, uh, you know, makeup trips, makeup tricks or skincare wise that you want to learn from us, please go ahead and just give us suggestions in the comments below because we want to give you as much value of what you're really looking for um, here so you can enjoy that. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me tonight. I hope you enjoy that and let me know kind of what your um, aha or your takeaway, one little tip or trick that maybe you learned from me tonight um, that maybe you'll try next time when you want to do a little soft and smoky look. So I hope you have a wonderful evening and thank you so much for joining me tonight. So have a great one. Bye.